I grew up going to a Presbyterian church, a very small Presbyterian church in uh, West Columbia, South Carolina. And I didn't really know much about God. I would go every Sunday, but just, we, that's all we did. We'd go on Sunday and not really talk about God the rest of the week. And um, as I continue to grow up, um, about when I was about 12, my, my mother um, cheated on my father and it was a very messy divorce. Um, and through all of that, I started drinking alcohol and just really relying on other things to um, cope with everything that was going on. Um, and then, which kind of led into through high school, just continuing to drink and do drugs and just continue to pursue relationships with guys and girls, um, just very lost. Um, and then my junior year of um, high school, I got expelled from school um, for smoking marijuana and it was, it was interesting because I like blamed God for everything I had done to myself, even though I feel like at that point I didn't really believe in God. I just really doubted if he was even there, but when something bad happened, I blamed him for everything. And it was probably about six months later that God really um, used um, an incident in my life to really bring me closer to him. Uh, I got into a drunk driving accident um, as I was, I had been drinking all night and took painkillers and was just speeding home. I had to be home by 12 and uh, I ended up hitting a tree and um, it was like the grace of God alone that I lived and my friends lived. It was probably about two or three weeks after that that uh, I started reading the Bible and God started changing my heart. It was really Proverbs 3, 5, and 6, trust in the Lord with all your heart and rely not on your own understanding, but acknowledge Him in all your ways and He'll make straight your paths. And He just kept bringing that up to me as I, one day I was high and I just felt like this isn't what God had for me anymore. And um, one day I was drinking and um, I was speaking with a friend who was atheist about, about God and we just kind of agreed to disagree. Um, but the next day I was hanging out with a friend um, who had actually just given her life to Christ, um, but I didn't know that. And I was telling her about what happened at the party and she just could see how much I wanted that relationship with God. And she just called that out of me and um, I just like started sobbing. I really did want that a relationship with God and I didn't want to change and I knew drinking had such a hold over my life and so um, I knew I, that's something that I had to surrender and anyway for moving forward from there um, I just feel like I just continue to to dive into God's Word and be around community and um, just grow in my faith and God just continued to bring me just freedom in Him and show me how good it is to live a life centered upon Him um, instead of upon just whatever I wanted or um, the desires of my flesh. After God completely changing my life, um, I feel like because I've been forgiven so much, I want to extend that forgiveness that He has given me to others. And I feel like before that I was very purposeless and now I'm very purposeful because my purpose is Christ, is to know Him and love Him, to share Him with others. So many people think they're so far from God. Um, for me, I mean, no one, people laughed at me when I said I was going to change my life and like give my life over to Christ. Um, but no one's ever too far from God.